Okay. So is it? I mean, Drake's been thinking about you. Now you're not a Drake fan. This is the lore going. There's some into records this. I'm a fan of. There, there are a lot of songs I'm a fan of. I mean, He's got truth, great truth singles. Be told, yeah. The the number of people who I'm a fan of mm. is very few and far between. Okay. You know, off, often, often when it comes to a lot of the modern artists I review, I can't afford to be a fan of anybody because once you're once you're that, you know, you 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 can't. Uh, uh, you, can, Bro, you, you can't. Are you can't. Long motherfucking. Legs. Thank you. you are all Thank you. Over Sorry. My head. I was like. Sorry. I was like. Sorry. What? It, no, it's fine. It just shocked me. You like, can't. This is like right next to you. You can't record. Like, you can't. You can't review someone's music in an unbiased manner. And I have to save my biases for white power music. I see that. I, I have to. I have to <laughs> hate on white power music. I can't just you know blindly hate other music. I need to save that for any music uh, made by people who are pro white. Okay, that's yeah. fair. So the the story is, you made a video. Right. Saying that Drake slid into your DMs mm -hmm. and this is all fabricated. The fact that he slid into my DMs was true. The DMs right, that right, we right, showed right. were fabricated. Okay, so he slid. Okay, hold on. Hold you on. thought you were the only goofster. All right, hold on. I'm, gotta, a, I'm a goofster too. Um, I got some goofs. Hold on, hold on. I want to find the original. Uh, find the original one? The one that he actually sent you. Yeah, the one that he actually sent me that he shared. Here it is, here it is. Instagram story. So Drake actually DM'd you this. Right, he actually DM'd me that. He says, your existence is a light one. Yeah. And the one is because you are alive. Now, if he doesn't like me, wouldn't, wouldn't, the, wouldn't me being alive be a detriment to my score? Wouldn't he be less generous because I'm well, alive? I guess, I guess to him, a one is like, you know. Wouldn't, I be, a, wouldn't I be a 10 if I, if I was dead? Potentially, yeah, that could that could change things. Yeah, he says, and somehow wife the black girl, right? So he's actually deep into lo your life. Yeah, he's, he's like, I don't he's think Google, most people he's googling know. my personal information. I don't think most of your fans are aware of the you know ethnicity of your wife, right? Because you're you're very private, right? But he does know that. Yeah, he's, he's weird, and he knows your cadence. He speaks like you. Yeah, he's, he's using my scoring system. And he's, I'm feeling a light to decent, which is kind of yeah. what you say. Right. One on your existence. So right. this is like, he's mad. He's like salty. Yeah. So kind of, so what do you, what's going through your mind? And, and, you I, le this? and I left him on red. Ah. ah yes. He was expecting you to try to. So what do you think? I mean, this is like, this must have been so unexpected. Yeah. When I got this, this was like, um, this was uh, like midnight. This he must be on West Coast time. This was like midnight on a Wednesday, and I was working out of my garage. And I just, you know, was looking at my Instagram, and I saw that I had a message from him. And um, you know, I just I screenshotted and I sent it to a bunch of my friends who were just like, "This is not real. This cannot. No, this yeah, is not. This... You you made this up." And I was like, "No, I, I sent it to maybe like half a dozen people." I was like, "Look at this. This is well, what the fuck should I do?" And um, you know, I just sat there and I thought about it and, um, you know, I thought about the morals of the situation. Obviously, you don't just want to share private DMs to the Internet. That's that's bad form. Personally, in this situation, I wouldn't mind because like he's he's sending you an unsolicited hate. <laughs> message. He is. But simultaneously, it's like I also thought in my head that's what he would want. You know, yeah, and and I think like given his profile and given my profile, there would have very much been sort of like the inevitable reaction of like, this is fake. You made nobody no, would have believed. No, it. no way Drake messaged this to you. Yeah, you know, so because that was sort of the presumption, I I, I got what you probably get a lot of the time. I got content brain. Mm. So you know, something happens to you, and immediately you're like, yeah. how do I turn this into content? Sure. So <laughs> I was like, since people are gonna think the message from him is made up anyway. Let's just make one up. And then, and since, and since he watches, He's he'll, he'll, he'll see a video that says Drake DM'd me <laughs> and he'll watch it and he'll see it's a funny inside joke. So, so fucking brilliant because you were right that he expected you to share it. And I think his idea was like, oh, nobody's going to believe him. Yeah, or and you baited him so good. Or either either not believe me or he'll see me on camera mad. Mm -hmm. Oh, you called me a light one. Drake! You know? Um <laughs> see me angry or see me like, you know, uh firing shots at him or being bitter or whatever. And I thought that like 
I thought, honestly, even though Drake does have a reputation for being a little bitter and, you know, sort of vindictive sometimes, I thought he would see the video and think it's funny. Right. And then maybe DM me and just be like, that was pretty funny. I thought right. you were going to talk about the DM that I sent you, but instead you did this silly thing. That's pretty cool. I, th I thought he would maybe want to chat after that and just kind of be friendly or just, you know, right. see, see, see that there was no malice coming from my end because mm. obviously I don't spend the video attacking him. No. You know, I, 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 didn't, I didn't necessarily expect him to do what he did. Dude, this was it's one of my favorite stories of the year. And what I loved about this is because when I watched your video the first time, I was like, Drake seems fucking awesome. Like, this DM <laughs> rules. I was like, yo, Drake is kind of like... <clears throat> Super cool. He's so, a nice guy. So you you fabricated this DM exchange. You said, Make him seem nice. Dude, I, I was a huge Drizzy fan after this. He says, Anthony, it's Drizzy. I know we don't see eye to eye about music and that you're not the biggest fan of mine. Thanks for the kind words on Take Care and if you're reading this, though. But it, it is what it is, you know. Can always hope you'll like the next one. But I'm, Smi Smiley emoji. Smiley, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But I'm not messaging you about your video. I'm actually messaging you because I found a really great vegan cookie recipe that I love you to try. It. Wait, hold on. I have to find it in my bookmark. Here it is. <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you could give this a spin and let me know if it's worth trying myself. Appreciate you. Drizzy out. Some people have made the recipe on TikTok. And it looks, it looks like it came out pretty good. Did you just find this on the internet and copy paste? Uh, my, my editor did. They, yeah. I, I, had, I had the idea... And I said, like, I, 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 it, was, it was sort of a choose-your-own-adventure thing. I said to them, um, shout-out to Austin. I said to them, um, we can either do a cookie recipe as a fake DM, or we could do Drake messaging me to ask about, like, what can he say to this girl that he has a crush on? And then I give him advice on, like, what to say to the girl. Mm. Um, and, and Austin went to, no, we got to go cookie recipe. And this then I said, was, okay. Uh, you know, just, I, I said... I screenshotted the DMs and I said, use this as a base for the Photoshop mm -hmm. and just throw the, throw the recipe in there <coughs> and, um, uh, you know, whatever you find on the internet. And that's how that came together. And so you put this video and I'm sure all your fans just thought it was some kind of wacky. Yeah. They joke. just thought it was some silly stuff because yeah. on the Fantano channel, I'm, you know, I, I, I very often will shit post or just sort of like, you know, give very inauthentic or sort of silly opinions on things, just sort of like throw people off. There's a lot of serious opinions on the Fantano channel too and commentary, but uh, every once in a while I'll do a silly video just to, you know, kind of uh, be tongue in cheek or be, be, you know, whatever. And so within two hours, Drake, yeah. who is apparently a huge fan of yours, right. um, posted this story, mm -hmm. which presumably he was like, nah, this is what I said to him. Yeah, that's really what Which happened. kind of, like, outed himself as kind of a big dummy because this makes him look like such a fucking douche and gives you a ton of clout. So, in terms of chess... I, I mean, I, I appreciate it. You know, I mean, thank you at the end of the day. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I don't have to, like, you know... Uh, get into this for like clout reasons or anything like that but uh you know si since then we we've had we've had positive exchanges you know, positive. <laughs> you've you've spoken to drake since then we we've I'll, I'll say we have we've had positive exchanges you know not 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 to the level of logic we're not like on the phone besties and I'm you guys dm'd uh we we've, we've we've had exchanges you don't want to say you don't i don't, I don't want to say but it's it's been positive okay We're, you know it's like there's no there's no there's no bad blood there, there you okay know, there's, that's there's nice no animosity that's nice i love to hear that yeah He's probably feeling bad because you just fucking clowned on him so bad. Like this, this YouTube music reviewer got the best of Drake, 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 Drake. Drake, 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 Drake. So, but there you go. Oh, by the way, and the best part, I mean, how many followers? He's got 119 million followers. He basically promoed you to. You have 500,000. I mean, what a L. Yeah, I got like, I, I think I got like 20K new followers that day. <laughs> That's like, awesome. I, just off of him sharing that, it was preposterous. Well, there it is. Um, by the way, you called him a groomer. I don't know if you guys have discussed that on in the DM. That was that was not a, uh, a part of the discussion. It says, oh wait, what is this? Is this no, just, that was that, that's somebody else's. <laughs> you meme. retweeted this. Uh, that that was just that was just a funny meme. I didn't know. Uh, I I don't recall the groomer. Text, oh, here, but, uh, here. It's just this part. Yeah, that's that's just that part. That's Do you think he's a groomer talking. that we're talking about the Millie Bobby Brown thing or him dating like his niece or what? What was it? I, I girl, he like knew. he has he has a history of having some contact with teenagers that people seem to be kind of I don't know. 
I guess, uh, uncomfortable Uncomfy. with. Yeah. It's, it's a little, it's a little odd. It's a little weird. I mean, I, I guess I'll say this, like if Drake is such a, uh, you know, uh, I mean, I, I guess in the, in the wake of me too, we've seen all types of people, you know, um, uh, fall from grace because of their very, you know, bad behavior and rightfully so. Um, you know, I guess I would like to think that if there was anything super scandalous out there about him, like, you know, if he was stupid enough to send underage girls DMs that could potentially yeah, incriminate he, him, you know, maybe it would have come out by now. I think that's but, a fair uh, assumption. You know? I guess but we'll, you never know. You know, you, then, and that's the thing. You never really know, and I don't want to make any presumptions of the guy or say anything uh, defamatory or something like that, but I think, um, you know, sort of like go off the presumption that he is most definitely... A pedo. You know? Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> no, he's not. That was a joke. I, there's no evidence that, that anything like that happens. Purely a joke. Not but even I mean, speculative. But, obvi but obviously, again, it's like, joke. it's it's obviously widely acknowledged and understood. And, you know, even guys like, Tyler, the creator of sort of like, you know, thrown out like a sub in a song, like, oh, Drake, I have a milli for you or whatever, you know, a million or a, you know, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you know, I, I think, uh, I, I, I think it's something that I hope that he in his career, you know, continues to distance himself just, from and yeah. just, you know, behaves, yep. but simultaneously, I don't know what, you know, was sort of like going on in his head, um, with the new record that he just put out with 21 Savage in terms of like the shots at Megan. Uh, which obviously Tori and did Tori not ended age up well. Being, that didn't age. Yeah. Well, that didn't age well. And then he had, um, uh, you know, the shots uh, against what was it, Serena? Uh, that he was. Uh, I'm trying to remember, like her significant other, because <laughs> Drake had gone on a couple dates with her at one point. Hmm. Um, and uh, you know, which I think would have made for an interesting couple. I mean, you know, Drake and a tennis champion uh, together. Sure. But uh, you know, I, I guess he sort of threw some shots at her significant other and. You know, maybe sort of like the bitter ex in that situation. I don't know. But, you know, either way, bad looks. I, I, don't, bad, know why, I don't know why he throws out so many bad looks. Yeah, so, you know what I mean, Drake? Uh, just fucking chill, bro. Oh, why is it? This Ohanian. I don't know how to pronounce it. He's like one of the co-founders of Reddit, right? Yeah, yeah. Dissing Serena Williams' him. husband. Hmm. I actually connected with him once. I don't remember for what. But yeah, he's a, you know, he's super successful. He should just enjoy his success. Exactly. Why you got to be so pressed, bro? You went from being a character in a wheelchair. I mean, nothing's wrong with that. It's just a funny image. He's an actor. Yeah. Uh, went from being an actor on, you know, a, a drama show to being bitter about, you know, uh, various. Sending various you hate DMs. And send, sending uh, music reviewers hate DMs. <laughs> As, you know, and like, God bless uh, all of our. Um, all of our fans who are in wheelchairs, but uh, this is a funny image. Let's not pretend like it's not, right? Can we not pretend? I'm gonna get this tattooed on my chest, bro. 